Pure water, pure pride, pure Jamaican. Pure water is about pure hydration. Remember to drink pure water and satisfy all your pure water needs. BLC Jamaica for all your services in alarms, CCTV, and gate automation. Call us today at 1 866 351 1105 or 876 320 7711. Check us out for all your security services. Again, call us at 1 866 351 1105 or 876 320 7711. Hi racing fans, this is trainer Patrick Smelly of OK Dan, he's really OK, beautiful space and bimini fame. I want to say kudos to Colin Blair for seeing the need for a program like the Open Gate Show and stepping up to the plate. You know, it's sometimes humorous analysis, keen eye and having his ear to the ground it gives us in the industry along with his growing listenership, valuable insight into the races. And also, very importantly, the happenings at the track with the jockeys, grooms, you know, etc. You know, I'd have to say, good work, old chap. Keep on doing what you're doing, Sammy. When you want to get all the good information on horse racing, check out the Open Gate shows with Mr. Blair. Anytime, anywhere, anyhow, you get the best results from him. Marky says so. Good afternoon. We have a double race meet this weekend, and on tomorrow we have ten races. Post time eleven forty a.m. We start with the native bred five year olds and up restricted allowance. Number one is of two. Ten were declared. Number two, sweet medicine, up in class after a fairly easy win but has to improve a great deal if she intends to figure in the top three. Number three, it's a beautiful day, has speed and uh, will be prominent, but is not expected to hold out six furlongs at this present time. Number four, Adwa, run twice. Well, actually, ran once this season and uh, was with the leader, but faded a bit. Although the winning nuclear ammo was pulling away, Adwo finished second five and a quarter length. If Adwo can reproduce that June 20th form last season, going five and a half furlongs and finishing a good fourth, four and a quarter length to victory turn, it was outrageous and Uncle Vernon Adwa has a very good chance. Number five, Ashley's Glory ran well at 39 to 1. The Open did show emphasized how Ashley's Glory looked and gave her a very good chance. Then the co champion jockey of last season, Anthony Thomas, he gets the call this time. Ashley's Glory is still expected to be part of the outcome. Number six, Ness Percy. Uh, of course, you know the name Ness Percy. It's an a Indian tribe, and they're responsible for those beautiful looking horses that uh, have different colors. So, very famous group, Ness Percy. Anyway, Ness Percy is making his seasonal debut and uh, has been on the cafe track on and off and um, the open gate show f figures that he will need this race although he, he is better than these number 70 time was loudly whispered and last the 6th of march going seven furlongs with the cardenas to be something it didn't show anything it finished at six twelve and a half length behind better boy Ashley's Glory and Sweet Surprise and Company. Did broke her maiden on the 13th of November going five and a half furlongs when he exploded in the last furlong and a half to be two and a half lengths in front of It's All Eye Little Red. 
could run on once again and be part of your lower exotics lots of speed in this race so this will help the time who is owned by new blue limited who also owns number nine about fear but fear the cardinals vacates the time and is on the other new blue limited horse but fear has been working okay and uh i don't like the horse to win even though this, the november 2nd going five rounds around the chain ellis this horse finished two length two and three, two and three quarter lengths behind mcmahon and was awarded the race top gear was behind but fear interesting entry uh should be part of the low exotics number 10 scubert makes a seasonal debut the last time this horse race was on the 29th of november going six and a half furlongs and uh was up in the early for the first two furlongs and then weakened to be 15 19 and 15th uh scoobert has looked in tremendous condition of recent shane ellis gets the call and if fully focused scoobert should have a very good chance of winning number 10 scoobert number five ashley's glory number four adwa number nine but number seven t time in that order the second race for five euros and up claiming 150 to 180 as well as for native bred six euros and up who've not earned 130,000 since november 13th 2020 10 horses were declared and they will be going five furlongs round over a thousand meters round number one reason last run against a bit better six going six furlongs that was last week uh finish five and a half in seventh closing passing some tired horses reason in this field could run on to be part of the top three number two laws of the code speedy mayor uh, ran well well won easily on the 12th of september with five and a half furlongs winning all by 10 and a quarter length when was when this horse was trained by philip elliott uh had general Muberg and cats ego behind since then i haven't really done anything except for that november 14 three four straight race when she finished third she called three calls of a man pageant and the beast two two speed horses too lord of the court has to be caught seeing that she is the sole sole leader in this race number four jason's goal could be part of your top three number seven movie star will be closing and could also get into the top three number eight four thousand uh was with leaders and last the 20th of february going five rounds round and faded a bit to be tent by 10 lengths after he was, he was three lengths behind the leader at the furlong point that race was run by lucky nine cats regal finished second regal prospector finished third movie star could be fitter now and be part of your low exotics number nine dash of class uh, i've been training on the track uh, not really predictable but attracts hot apprentice Stephen foster so dash of class should be given some consideration number 10 prince of statistics uh didn't like how this one returned to doing on saturday and closure on january 31st with shane ellis was with leaders and finished 10 30 and a half length behind mr linders he's the real link and lady carmen uh before that he she went on the new year's day three for him straight finish fifth six and a quarter lengths to dr banner freedom for and smoke screen I'm not impressed 
with pretty statistics. Although this horse could be the horse to beat, especially with this handicap. But um, it's your choice. You can go with Princess Statistics. I'm selecting number two. Laws of the Code from number one reason. Number seven, Movie Star. Number nine, Dash of Class. Third race is for Native Red Fours and Up, a non restricted maiden condition race. Phillies and Mares. Nine were declared. They go to five and a half, further 1100 meters. Number two, Persistent One. Uh, if he on the curve course, as is evident in, a, in her stats. Number three, Toughness. Sh should be given a chance. Frequent race, Philly, who doesn't have the, class, the, 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 the conditions as yet in her favor, but I'm expecting toughness to be part of the outcome. Number four, Miss AJC attracts the Nelson, another unpredictable third. Did run well, finishing second, three and a half lengths, when five rounds round on the 2nd of January to Copper Soup. But Miss AJC has to improve much more in order to win this race. Number six, Gorgeous Gift, Fit Philly, who was one pace going six and a half furlongs last week. Finishing second, seven and a quarter length to a Diamond League. Diamond League won very, very easily. Stable made commanding Luna was third. Gorgeous Gift should definitely have a good chance of breaking her main hair. Number seven, Reckless Diamond was a clear late on starter last week for whatever reason. Uh, did run third, did run fourth rather, three and a half lengths to Expedition, a mighty Chelsea, and Toughness going six furlongs on the 20th of February. This was Reckless Diamond's fifth career start and um, she made her, her debut on the 23rd of December and I'm expecting Diamond, Reckless Diamond to improve further and fight this out until the Thomas he rides. Number eight, champion Michaela uh, has been plodding along in the latter part of her races and being on the lower end of the exotics. And the chances are this horse could improve a bit and finish maybe a slot up. I don't expect this one to win though. Number nine ultimatum. I've seen this one. When was it? I think uh, I don't remember. But I've seen this one after she ra she last raced, and I think she looks very good. Um, I'm expecting a very good run from ultimatum this time around. We'll be having blinkers on again. Number six, though, gorgeous gift. Just for number seven, reckless diamond. Number three, toughness. Number nine, ultimatum. Fourth race, 10 declared, and eight about fours and up. We've never won two races, as well as imported fours and up, who are maidens. It's a restricted allowance race. 800 meters or four furlongs straight. That's what, that's what the journey will be. Number two, another prospector, loves the straight and um, didn't do well and last with, with the blinkers and tongue tie on. That will be off. Now, that was the 20th of February, finishing seven, six and quarter lengths to cover tone. Katie's Rocket Elitist. Another prospector, as I mentioned, loved the straight and will be a force to reckon with as I've seen her looking up a bit since that last race on the 20th of February. Number three is Tommy Solano, five-year-old U.S. imported maiden horse. Uh, when Stormy Solano was in the States, she had similar problems of being with leaders and failing. Won't get it any easier this time, especially with this handicap, and uh, should 
be much fitter. Stormy Solano will ensure lots of speed, especially seeing that it's drawn on her outside in number four, Awesome Boy. Uh, this is another US in Perky and um, not seen on the exercise track, but have been seen going to the equine pool of late. Um, the tongue tie will be off. And this horse is another who has speed, but has been weakening. However, the last time this horse ventures over this course, four for them straight on the 6th of February, uh, he lost in a head bob to Executive Chief. Incidentally, Stormy Solano also lost in a head bob on the 6th of February. And that was section two of this of this class. Um, Stormy Solano was beaten by a striking lady. Not much to choose between these two. Surely they will be the leaders for the first three and a half furlongs at least. We now go to Gary Sabrata's second entry. Number six, Katie's Rocket. Always running in close finishes. Ahead, you know, between under a length or thereabout, uh, the force is behind. The winner, um, quickly back, surely a horse that is not easy to train on the exercise track, and you know, it's worth some consideration. But the form of Gary Chabrati of late, he has won 14 races from six or four starts, he's doing tremendously well, and surely Katie's Rocket has to be considered. In the seventh Duke of Springs. Stepped up, stepped up at little size and looking uh, better. Can he win? Uh, yes, he can. She and Ellis ride. And, you know, this horse has speed too. The last run time this horse ran, four for straight, the 6th of, of February, in the same race that awesome boy got. And Katie Rocket too ran in. This horse finished fourth nine and a half length behind and i can tell you it will be much better for this so in that last race in the race on the 6th of february we have awesome boy katie rocket and duke of spring coming out of that race and they finished second third and fourth respectively number three though stormy solano robert pearson is doing very well i'm expecting this horse to uh, well an equipment Chances are, this horse is having a, a flip pallet issue. A flip pallet is when the, there's a, a thin film of, uh, of flesh, if I should call it that, on the roof of the horse's mouth. And that is, has been flattened. It occurred from the, the younger stages where a horse, young horses are prone are prone to flip their palate. But um, I'm sure China Pearson will try to adjust that. Well, let's see if that adjustment can make him make her the winner. But I'm selecting her on top of number two, another pros prosecutor. Number four, awesome boy. Number six, KD Rocket. We now go to race five. It's a Two-turn race, 18, 1,820 meters or 925 yards, four folds and up, claimers, 250,000, as well as native by six years and up, who've never won four races in their career. And also eligible are native by five years and up, who are maidens. 12 were declared. Number one, Berlin, a very interesting horse, seeing that he is considered a specialist going two turns. The last time he ran two turns was on New Year's Day in the lucrative $1 million Jason McKay's trophy. Uh, was the huge favorite at 4 to 5 with Anthony Thomas and finished a dismal fifth, 19 and a half lengths behind Sir Ashwin Bob, who is here, as well as Shauna Cruz and Dr. Gray. Has been claimed 
three times since and still hasn't shown anything. I've seen this run a couple of weeks ago. I was not impressed with his condition. I've not seen him recently. But chances are he could be back to himself. Number two, smart tradition, stretching out. We'll be closing, hoping to, to pass some of the tiring ones for a place on the board and the three rack away. Uh, loudly whispered horse last week, 7th of March, going to seven furlongs. This horse was one paced, finished short, five and a half length. Behind tradition, Mr. Linders and Cora. Um, always breaking through, has an awkward stride, and is a horse that has one pace. He only goes at one speed. Rockaway should be suited by this two turn distance, but won't have it that easy for a win. Although he must be considered, seeing that he is physically sound. Number seven, Shauna Cruz. Uh, steps are much down in, 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 in pain from 250 to 250,000 with Apprentice Roman Napier will be very, very light. Could be part of the top three. Number nine, Nalas Bushman. Uh, well suited to this race. Was closing rapidly on the 20th of February, going a mile. Again, similar. Well, again, Sir Arjun Barber and Isotope who are here again. Close to be third, one and a quarter length, and uh, with, with, with a few more strides, would have won. Gets an ideal distance to stay off the pace and close. Now as Bushman should be given top considerations. So too, number 10, Sir Puddington. This horse is facing a bit easier a bit easier group. Also, last time run, running the mile, going on the 20th of February, the section two of that race, similar to what now the Bushman finished third by running a quarter length in. So Pullington also finished third, but by three and a half lengths to Art Ice and Kaya. So Pullington should be a top contender also. So to number 11 Isotope, who showed some form since claim by Tyrone Prince. And um, in this race with Nalas Bushman, this horse was flying in the finish to be a lead second. Should be suited by this trip, and Isotope has a very good chance of delivering. Number 12, Sir Adrian Barber, back with Nemesis, Isotope, and Nalas Bushman. Uh, was impressed how this horse returned to the cycle to, to the winners enclosure and last and um going two turns once again it could be a challenge regardless of the innocent's presence did one extremely easy on new year's day when winning that would have jason mckay's sprint over this route um finished Eight and a half lengths in front of Sean Cruz. Before that, the 20th of November, when six and a half furlongs, won easily to beat in a poor set, but didn't didn't look all that well coming back. But it's your choice. You can go with this one with your win, but the open gate show won't be doing that. I'm sitting number 10, Sir Pullington, from number 11, Isotope, number 9, Nala Bushman, top three horses, one of those should win. Number three, Rack Away, number two, Smarter Tradition. Bear in mind, I mentioned uh, about Berlin, who could be one for consideration. I don't like that horse. We go to race six, and it's for Native Bread Foils and Up. Numbers of two imported Foils and Up who are maidens. It's a restricted allowance race. 16 declared, they go seven and a half furlongs or 1500 meters. Jada Patrick Lynch has two here. 
Number one, I'm a citizen who has shown nothing in, in, the, seven, in the seven career stocks. This U.S. imported Philly uh, could need a bit more time. Did I say could? Well, I did. Number three, my time now, uh, not a horse with speed, but usually closes well. Um, could be looked at. Last time this was run, on this last week, 6th of March, when the seven furlongs, without the tongue tie and apprentice Bennett, uh, and ran fifth travelings behind Eagle One, Lord Lucy One Done. Bennett was aboard on his previous run on the 20th of February, going seven hour furlongs, finished third, six lengths behind Pepito and Versa Vision. Um, a horse that I don't really like. I don't know. I don't think he will be, be getting enough pace to run at in this race, uh, but has to be respected. Number four, Super Painter, uh, has been looking in good, con in, in, in better condition since the start of the season. Uh, he has changed barn to trainer Alan Williams. Interestingly, this horse gets Omar Walker for the third time well let's see what will happen to happens tomorrow number five strike at will should set the pace and uh, i'm expecting her to falter but could stay around for a place in your exotics number six gambler um unpredictable thought could have done better on last and um i'm thinking that gambler this time around we run a good race to win, mm, maybe, but you know, I like this horse, I don't love him. Number 10, Sen City. Well, <laughs> what can I say about this horse? Very costly to follow, flatters to receive, won't get it any easier. And Sen City should be a serious factor here. Number 11, no work permit. Hasn't been permitted to go into the winner's enclosure. At least take a picture. Who knows? It could be tomorrow. Number 14, these choice. Uh, the second horse in this race owned by Basha. Sen City is the other. These choice, some consider this horse to be a good horse. Oh, well, I should say a decent horse. Um, maybe Trevor Simpson rides this horse for the third consecutive time. That's very interesting. I don't fancy this horse to win, though. But I'm sure some will. Number four, 15, Prince, Princess Livy. Ran in the tongue tie on the 29th of November. And uh, finished six, eight and a half lengths behind Primal Fair, Big Big Daddy, Sun City. Uh, it's back again with the tongue tie for the second time. I don't know what that it will do, but Princess Livy has been looking okay in, in the morning and is very, very light. For me, though, number 10, Sun City. From number three, that's my time now, number six, Gambler, number 11, No Work Permit, number 15, Princess Lizzie. Seventh race, Native Red Trail Maiden Condition Race. Eight declared, they go a mile or 1600 meters. Number one, Slim Filano, from the stables of Robert Pearson, has been kept up with exercise and could run an improved race, not to win. I don't expect this horse to be in the top three, but could be part of the, your lowest exotics from the two brother brush. Kind of like how this horse is looking of recent, since its last race, yes. Uh, looking more zippier on the exercise, on the exercise track. Um, yet to really show anything, we'll be getting cheap pieces for the first time. Lars Allen Rice, he was on number seven, the other Richard Azan horse. That is Jones on last, and he's on this one now. Number three, Old King Cole. 
has been showing some speed in his last three races and um not a bad horse just to get this trip and you know i'm not sure if they'll try the tactics of going in front who knows he could be held up and make a better display i am a bit concerned about this horse because i think this horse could be more focused tomorrow than ever Number seven, Daddy Jones, improving a great cold, lanky, fast trading horse. He looked improved to me. And this week, he really looked very focused and, and happy. 57 kilos and Omar Walker. Daddy Jones ran out the straight on the 17th of February at 95 and ran well. He got beat ahead. Sorry, got beat to length in the second by Silver Hawk. Uh, was on the outside and drifted sharply down. If he had kept a straight course, he would have won. Has improved. Richard Zana has taken his horse to task and he has responded well enough. Number eight, Curly's Kawatha. Uh, another progeny of Microsoft's perfect curling, this talent that he owns, has been running out the straight mostly and the Two times he ran on the turn, they were very poor. I've been looking um, slightly improved, but not yet for a winning chance. Number seven though, Daddy Jones from number two, Bradley Brush, to give Richard Sand the exacto. Number three, Oakland Cole, Dangerous Horse. Number one, Slam, Silano. Race eight, Native Red. Three old maiden condition race. Phillips only 13 declared and they go six and a half furlongs or 1300 meters. Number one, Hill's Vision. Um, the horse to beat, I should say that readily. Uh, very light and um, ran well on last, the 13th of February, going seven and a half furlongs to finish second a length behind Catalina has been working okay and as I said I'm expecting this horse to be fighting this one out number four Everton Glitters did Nelson gets the call for this one who has been consistent enough to be warranted a chance of finishing in the top three uh, the last time this horse ran was going two turns, nine from 25 yards, and finished third, five lengths behind Money Man and Sir John. Didn't quicken, was always sort of one pace, and uh, Evelyn Gitter has to do better than that if she intends to win. Number seven, Black Bombshell, a well bred horse, she knows gets the call. Haven't done much at the size, haven't done much in. The race the, the, well, on debut, that was on the 28th of November, making her season of debut looked okay, but not really doing much uh, speed work to impress. Although the horse is well trained, that I can tell you. The cigarette is off, and she had Ellis is on. I'm sure that will draw your interest. Number nine, Kai Alexis. This horse has been working very, very well before her debut on the 20th of February. Uh, that was going this exact trip of six and a half furlongs and was early with the leaders and failed to be seven, eight and a half lengths behind without war and don't play with magic as well as sweet majestic. Uh, since the race, Kaiser Alexis has continued to work well, even better. On Sunday the 7th, Gallup 6 for the world 14 and 3 5th. Um, Omar Walker, he rides now, and I'm sure Kaiser Alexis will have lots of support. Let's see. Number 10 of written law ran three times, all were always straight course 
six and a half furlongs could be a bit for this one. Number 11 teams account could be part of your low exotics as the door uh, last two runs, the 30th, 30th of January and the 7th of February respectively, were very, very poor after finishing third on the 9th of January, going five and a half furlongs, six lengths, six and a half lengths, John Crow, Jeff, and Emily Butcher, who is still in this race. I'm expecting King of the Count to be part of your low exotics, remember that, and she'll be at very good odds. I don't think all is well with her in those two races that she ran this money in. We talked to Kilo Blue, mm, one of the first horses to work on its first track. If Sentient is not there, same room that grooms Sentient. Tequila Blue, mm, a, a bit antsy, a bit of, a bit fictitious, and if she settles down, could improve on that last run, the 28th of February, going to five and a half rounds, where she led and waiting to be fought six and three quarter to seek the identity. And Jackson Blessing and Amy the Butcher, Kevin Foster rides for Gary Sobrati again. Number one, in his vision from number four, having a glitter. Number nine, Kaif Alexis. Number 12, the Kilo Blue. And consider number 11 teams account for AO Exotic Flat. The penultimate race, the feature race. Race 9, the 27th running of the Hotline Stakes, Native Bread Trials, Restricted Allowance. It's an unwinners of two, Phillies race, and it's a race that is considered a classic prep for the Phillies Guinness or the Thornburg Stakes. Hotline was a top sprinter trained by the late Nigel Nunes, owned by his wife Hillis, and ridden at times by George Osang, Charles Hovey, Emilio Rodriguez, they're about at line, will always be remembered in the racing of fraternity. Anyway, nine horses were declared for this, and as I said, it goes six for all of our meters. Number one, Magenta, born the 21st of May, a chance of Philly by Echoes Ben, by Winning Spirit, by Judge T.C., owned by Eminence Stable, trained by Philip Fiani, O.D., the groom, Glenford Thompson. Magenta, Debbie on Boxing Day, the 26th of December, six furlongs and ran well, only won by three quarters of a length, beating Burn Notice and Regal and Royal, but boast the best six furlong time in this race. Magento ran 130 in a fifth. Didn't have Lasix then, will have Lasix this time, as well as Tom Tai, and working well enough. Number two, Silver Orc, born the 21st of February, ruled fully by Midnight Orc, out of Miss Emily, by Legal Process, owner Christopher, owner and breeder Christopher Wellington, there is about the trains, Glenville Grace, the groom, uh, ran on the five for them straight and won, I expected her to win then. I've looked much improved on exercise track, put on some weight, and uh, of a lot of the zest, saw this one pulling the Cardenas all, all the time this week when she went to the next side track. Silver Hawk surely is going to run a good race. Well, it's expected to run a good race. Number three, Catalina, a horse that was born here in utero, born the 14th of April by a ride on curling by Aline, by Graham Hall, Eminence Syndicate. The owner Gary Crawford is the, as the trainer, Keith Johnson, the groom. Uh, this horse ran four times and um, ran well in the last three, won and last, beating his vision. Has been working well, has been looking well. Catalina should merit some serious consideration for the top honors here. Number four, Charles Law, born the 14th of March, which has been fully by Sensational Slam, although she's spectacular by St. Appeal, Older Stephanie Naran Singh, Arpunai, and Don Webby, trainer Anthony Nunes, Ham Stables Limited, the breeder, Steve Smith, the groom, 
change of law has a lot to find. Number five, magical mood. Another of trainer Anthony Lewis's entry here. This is a chest in Philly by Phil's vision or the delayed scored by even the score born the 21st of May. Chest in Philly owner by Christian Sagan Mirage and the groom Tamari Brown on Valley Estates Limited. They uh, were the breeder. The Nelson Rides Magical Mood has not impressed me much for consideration to win this race, but uh, it's going to pay enough. Number six, Short Curling, born the 2nd of March, a bit fitted by Perfect Curling out of Short Curl by Alke. Owner, Micros, Patrick Lynch, recently got this horse from Gary Subrati, Michael Bernardo, owner, the groom, Dave Bell. Um, Robert Haldin writes, Short Curling looks to have use well, so far, she seems to only, well, her best races were all the straight. She ran seven times, and four, her best four races were all out the straight, four for long straight. Let's see what the chain of stable will do, and let's see this time if she will do better on the curve. Number seven, Action Anne, the Antipole's favorite, won very easily, pulling away on the 21st of December and now makes her seasonal debut. Uh, that seven for long race, she ran a very fast time of 125 and a fifth, winning by 30 and a quarter length, beating Sir John and Heavenly Glitters. Has been training okay, uh, has put on some weight, uh, looks okay in, in condition. Omar Walker again rides, action on, surely the horse to beat. Number eight, secret identity. Incidentally, let me get back to action. And born the 13th of March, it grew freely by sensational slam out of Lady Light by distorted owner Darry Vaz and Howard Hamilton. Christopher Pilsen is the trainer, Hampstead is limited, the breeder, Michael Lord is the groom. And now back to number eight secret identity. Born the 27th of February, they freely by bird identity out of Pomeroy, secret by Pomeroy. Order and breeder, Hewan Elliott, Tinson Chong, the trainer, Nigel Gowdy, the groom. A uh, tall, leggy filly, good length, good stride. Really liked how she won. She won like a horse that has courage, a horse that can go, go a distance, get the distance of ground. Uh, a very talented horse. Won by five lengths on 28th of February, going five and a half furlongs, uh, beating Justin Blessings and Amy the Butcher. Has to improve. Working a lot of the gates, uh, I don't know why, but I'm sure the trainer knows best. I've been looking okay still, but let me warn you, horses will do a good time, good splits, when they have an easy, when they have easier, easy opponents. But when they are pitted against opponents that can go in similar splits, some of them falters. The good ones go on to do just as well as, as when they, they, they won. Uh, Secret Identity, very interesting horse, a horse that I liked as a yearling and was very impressed with, with, with this horse. Didn't have the money to buy her though. No. Uh, should do well again how she runs and even if she loses to action and well not by a long distance see that entry you must remember it's only this will only be her second outing number nine three times lucky born the 13th of may chested philly by northern john of grand regretta by is the real thing uh, Derek Smith, the owner, win the Costa OD, the trainer, YS95, the breeder, Harold Wallace, the groom. Number seven, Action Anne. Number eight, Secret Identity. Number three, Catalina. Number two, Silver Oak. Number one, Magenta. Any of those can win, though, remember that. All right, let's get to the final race. 11. Horses were declared, they go seven and a half furlongs or 1500 meters for native red four years and up. We've never won four races in their lifetime. 
and it for imported frozen up who's never once be racist. Number one battle dancer, fit and improving cold, who should get into the exotics. Number two, one of a kind, make his seasonal debut. Not impressive on the exercise track, but that's the normal this one. Until Thomas gets the call for trainer Anthony Nunes. Regular rider, Dan Nelson, is on the other Nunes entry here. Number five, let him fly. Uh, well, let him fly suddenly has been working, well, has been running very well. The last time he looked very well, pulling away, uh, beating awesome treasure and primal fair going seven furlongs, uh, winning by six and three quarter lengths with Dan Nelson. Dan Nelson is on again, let him fly will be trying to fly away with this one but up in class number eight excessive force an american imported horse that uh, has issues but has been doing very well last time he ran with five rounds on a trip that is considered not suited to that was the 28th of february and finished third two and a half lengths to money monster and salvation Quite a good field. Sprinting gets back to a more suitable trip. Excessive force is expected to be part of the one fighting for picture taken in the winning and closure. Number nine, awesome stretcher. Very heavily raised horse. Came home good at last and won going six furlongs, beating Alexis Lodge and Copper Tone. Uh, has to improve within that short period of well, seven days. Let's see what how awesome, awesome each other will be. Has the number five, let him fly to overcome. Let him fly better that one by six and a quarter, six and three quarters until uh, when they met on last. Number 10, Eagle One created a, an upset when Wayne the Costa had five horses in, in this race and Eagle One upset the Antipo's favorite lore of Lucy. Uh, on that performance, Eagle One has to be given some consideration for a top four slot. Number 11, Big Big Daddy, a horse that has raised so much, but has improved, very strong horse, and um, could be part of the low, of your low exotics. Number eight, it's as a force, number one, Battle Dancer, could give Fliziani an exactor. Number 10, Evil one, number five, let him fly. Let him fly could be in the higher order. Number 11, Big Daddy. That's my order of selection for the final race. My best two, race seven. Number seven, that's, what is it, race seven, number seven? Yes, that's Daddy Jones and race nine, with 10 rattle, number eight, excessive force. Take care, join me tomorrow when I analyze the Sunday race card. Remember, wear your mask, practice social distancing, sanitize your hands, and never you forget, rehydrate yourself with pure Jamaican Pride bottled water, pure water. Rehydration is more important than you think, especially for those who are 50 and older.